Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to do plotting in using App Designer. I will also demonstrate the use of various widgets available in App Designer like slider, knobs and other things. So uh, we will use the App Designer to plot our uh, equation and vary it uh, using the UI and see the effect in the output plot. So to before we start, let me show you the equation which we will be plotting. So we will use this voltage equation which is equal to resistance into current multiplied by sinusoidal sine of omega t plus theta. So we will plot this and we will create some UI interface which should look similar to this one what I am showing you here. So now let's start. So before I start, so we will give the theta value using some kind of slider and frequency some kind of knob. Probably in our this example I will also vary the amplitude. So let's start. So let's create an app designer. Empty one. And before I continue let me save it. I will save it saying plotting app designer. Yeah. Probably we will create an app also out of it later on. Uh, MATLAB app but that will I'll show at the end. So now let's start. So to plot first thing I need is I need a axis and for inputs I will need a slider over here okay and I can have a knob this probably will become my frequency and also I can have a probably discrete knob this this way we can have a uh, our uh, amplitude control or probably I think I will prefer uh, another, another knob for the amplitude or let me see if we have some other option so apart from probably I can use this spinner or, or, or let me use another slider this looks good yeah it is easy to slide yeah so this one I will mark as theta this one is my frequency and this is my amplitude yes this goes a little bit of search I will bring it back here I will need a button to a start it's not necessary you can avoid button as well but let me first put a button here I'll just probably make it a little bigger yes and what else I need is probably I need a gauze yeah where I can show some amplitude or something like that yes so once set before I set the properties I let me just have a quick run and see so this comes here perfect okay now let me first set the this texture as a start okay now for theta my value range probably I can have it from I'm not sure it, it's, it should be in the pi range so it should be minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 or uh, yeah or, or probably let's take in uh, degrees although in, in reality it should be uh, in pi but I think or in radians basically so but I will take it in degrees for frequency probably in 100 could be too much so I think uh, up to 20 should be fine and to start with we'll keep it low uh, to initial value of 2 then I think 10 should also be fine yeah and for amplitude again I think 100 could be too much I think 20 should be fine and initial value should be fine please no, don't keep amplitude initial value as 0 then otherwise you won't get anything in, the, in your plot for range of this gauss so what I am trying to uh, uh, plot over here is the amplitude of this uh, sine wave so that probably we can go up to uh, minus 22 plus 20 yeah 
let's see of course we can change these values later on now to start uh, doing our coding uh, we will add the callback to our uh, start button right now there won't be any function so we will just uh, have this callback available here yes okay so this is the callback function for our uh, uh, start button so here what we can do is now we can start our uh, initializing the value so let's take the lo local values like theta should be equal to theta slider so we need this and value so we will probably app dot theta slider dot value yes and since it's in integer form so we can just keep it like this so initially it will be zero but of course we'll change it during the runtime what else we will need is we will need our frequency so probably frequency can be equal to and for that we'll need the value from this knob so we'll just uh, type app dot uh, frequency now frequency knob dot value yes and amplitude so i will go back to my equation here so this first part r into im i will be taking it as an uh, one single value as amplitude but of course you, you can have resistance and uh, current separately and play with that so i just take or probably i'll go for amp and over here again i will have to type this amplitude dot app dot amplitude dot slider dot value yeah so now we have all the values over here so now we can have our voltage which is the output equal to uh, that will be amplitude in multiply by sine wave and this will become frequency into time time we have to make right now and then we can have our theta yes so before we call this let's let's first our initialize our time also so let's make it for 0 to um, 10 seconds and but it will be at a time cycle of 1 second so which could be too high so i would like to make it a little shorter a time step of 0 0.2 looks good yes and now to plot it i think we can simply use a command called plot and then the first parameter should we have to enter is the axis so we'll use this this uh, syntax where the first parameter we give it as an axis and then we give x and y so first parameter will be our axis which is nothing but uh, app dot ui axis so we just tap app dot ui axis and then our x will be time and our y will be volt so that's it so let's play this and see if this works or not okay i have to start so this can play yes it's working so if i change the frequency to some higher value yes something is happening but right now when we change it doesn't happen on the live so let's, let's make it a little more uh, fun over here so let's close this and also if you notice our uh, gauze is not doing anything so we can have something to for our um, gauze also to do so uh, what we can do is we can probably uh, give a callback to our gauze as well uh, or, or, or we can mention it in this uh, startup itself so what we can do is to make it a little more interesting uh, let's do it like this we can have it in a low for loop and uh, for i equal to let's let's take the uh, voltage so, and we will be showing in the gauze the value of this uh, uh, voltage whatever this voltage we have okay so i think i did a mistake here it should come yes so we will assign that voltage value to our gauze so for assigning the value what we have to do is we have to go to this and probably what we can also do is yeah so we can go here and assign it app dot goes dot value and this should be equal to my volt and you should take the ith value whatever that 
is and to see it fluctuating what we can do something interesting we can give it a pause of probably one second and each one second it changes and and to make it a little better i will do is i'll just select this and go for smart indent so it automatically takes care of my in indentation yes so apart from this what else we can do is whenever we change the values of this uh, slider or any of these knobs my <coughs> this should get updated my plot so for that i have to do nothing but i have to recall this uh, callback again so what i can do is for each of these uh, 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 objects i can give a callback function and i can call the same callback function for the value change and value changing so for both this it will be live so we can see whenever we do any modification the value will get changed again for this amplitude also and the start button anyway we have given the callback so and for ui actually there is no callback of course and same is true because objects do not have callbacks of course these do does not have callbacks so for all the others we have given this uh, same function which will be called and it will update my plot and it, it will do this um, gauze will get updated so let's see if it works okay so either you can play a start or you can just change any value and it should work so uh, is what that's what my understanding is see so it started working and if you notice in the gauze the values are changing over here from slowly and gradually from minus 4 to uh, or probably I think it's going from minus 5 to plus 5 because the amplitude is right to minus 5 so let me just increase the amplitude a little bit and when I increased it to probably 7 it, it has gone up to 7 so if you want to see more fluctuation in the goals uh, we can have it up to like 16 and if you observe here it's going from uh, 16 to minus 16 let me, let me make it a little bigger so that it's quite good uh, and uh, visible here so uh, what I can do is I can go back here I can go back to my design and make it a little um, bigger and uh, still a bigger and I will also rename it to proper voltage but once you rename make sure that in the code also because we have used this app dot voltage yeah so it got changed automatically so Mathworks MATLAB automatically takes care of this renaming in uh, quite a smart way this is quite interesting so now what we can do is we can rerun and once we rerun this should have come down and no I think I will have to close and yeah I was expecting because we have deleted this object so that's why this is coming you can just ignore this not a problem and or probably I can close this again and probably yeah no problem so I, I, I can read on it and this time this error will go because that was destructor was called if you know object oriented programming so they have uh, uh, implemented the object oriented programming concept so destructor was called but my app was still running that's why that error, error was coming so let me again start it uh, so if you see now this looks much bigger and uh, quite fancy I can increase the size so that or I probably can make it a full screen yeah and so what more I can do is I can change the amplitude over here I can change the frequency so it, this will become faster if you see if you if you really want to see the no, goes going so we'll make it very fast so you can see my uh, this uh, needle the pointer is fluctuating very fast if you want to make it slower decrease the frequency decrease the amplitude and it will become again slow yep okay so that's all probably I will again show quickly in this video as well how to quickly uh, make an uh, of course to avoid this you can put this part of the code in your try catch but for the simplicity I'll just leave it as, a, as it is right now if you have any questions please put uh, in the comment section and I'll show you how to do that I'll also quickly create a package out of it which I usually do in most of my videos and once done I can just click on this button it is packaged 
so once this package is done so I am expecting uh, I, I think I can close this and I can this will you can do those those errors all because the, of this destructor is being called and no you can what you can do is once you have this installer you can just double click and it should get installed on your uh, top toolbar over here I have some other uh, also so I think this was our app but uh, before you ch ch test it you may have to change the folder to some uh, test folder and over here you can test it once you click it should come up and again I can make it a big picture and I can probably start so if you see it starts yeah so thank you for watching my video and I hope it was useful for you to watch and understand the use of knobs and sliders and axis and goals and various objects here in uh, uh, app designer if you have any questions please uh, put in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you